This is crazy. Uh, before we start this video, I just want to say, for one, thank you to all the, the ones, the troopers who let me know about these metamorphers that are in the WNBA. And that's exactly how acting out of lust, trying to be playful and shit. That's what happens when you joke too much. And I just use profanity in the intro. I, I ain't gonna get paid for it anyway, so it is what it is. But thank you to the true troopers out there who DM me and let me know that's a man. And either way it goes, you know, if somebody gets offended by this, I'm not trying to degrade anybody's sexuality or anything like that. Let's go and get that straight. But respectfully, I am, you know what I'm saying, interested in a woman only. And I'm thinking that this is a woman. But that's like, if somebody tells me something, I had to contradict it. And it's just like, nobody's just going to tell me for no reason. So I appreciate, once again, my troopers telling me because it's like, I'm not even going to sit here and question what it is because it's like, you know what? <laughs> Whatever. Let's move on from it, right? But the point of the video still stood in that uh, video with the message for the WNBA as far as them sexualizing our people, regardless, that still is going to be the the whole point of what's going on with our our goddesses and our gods if they want to masquerade as <laughs> goddesses, supposedly. When it comes down to the light bearer, because I don't like to shit, really use the word Lucifer, just depending on how it affects the videos, but it's just like, fuck all that. When it comes down to Lucifer's enlightenment, we had to understand that the way this entity is able to spread itself out in a... In a physical vessel, when it comes down to acting as far as basketball-wise, when it comes down to industries, many people are conditioned to be a character that does not exist. So it's the fact that whenever you operate out of lust, especially as a man, you are going to lose all sense of self through yourself while looking at this character that you perceive as a woman in the WNBA. But majority of them are just playing Juana man. Majority of them are just playing a game to fund their society, fund their family, fund their lifestyle. And the thing is, too, if you go down to the chemi I don't say the chemistry, the chemical imbalances, not even just that, too, their DNA, their genetics, their biological being, you feel me? Like, you had to be able to go down to the root of their foundation of how they started out where they are today because many of them are sold into these industries. Many of them are put into place to be a distraction. And it, it just, it was crazy. You just, if you've seen the first video already, you already know I'm, I'm still befuddled. Cause it's like, damn, you feel me? Trying to give a compliment, thinking that, yeah, it, just, it blows your mind when you really get fooled like that. And it's just like, the thing is, too, you have to understand everything's a contradiction. So you have to be able to contradict the thoughts that you think you're having. Because if you are infatuated with someone, you are infatuated with yourself. And it's just like, either way it goes, you become confident within who you are. So it's like, you don't have to sit here and go outside of yourself to sexualize yourself to get attention from men or from women to pay your bills. Because if you love yourself, you don't have to do it for the internet. Just do it for you, regardless. But when it comes down to self-love, what is that? A lot of times, these characters, they get praised, they get worshipped with the same picture as well. All the people who are taking pictures of her, they are the same exact pigmentation. And by them being the exact pigmentation, she has handlers. She has people who are placing... She she is placed in a fortitude to where she is perceived as a certain image that most people are not able to comprehend. Because most people feel as if most people just grow up being a man or a woman. But the thing is, though, if you go into a different, higher existence within your mind if you go above your subconscious mind and you actually see beyond the veil of what you are perceiving your in inception and in. if you've seen the movie inception you know what i'm talking about but if you go outside of the dream that you are dreaming in and you are able to wake up your wake up more than 24 of your eyes if you're if you're able to observe what you're going through what you're feeling what you're thinking and then once you look into these images of the people that you look up to or are inspired by you got to really ask yourself, is this person who they perceive to be? Because if you see them in person with someone that you probably look up to as another basketball player or a boxer, a football player, a baseball player, either way it goes, it's all the exact same thing. And they are pushing a Luciferian agenda. When it comes down to that, we have to always expose that because many of these people are basically pushing it to where most religions, most 
opinionated people who are closed minded, most of them will say, well, for one, most of them have a negative indication on if you love the same exact sex, you will go to this perception. Or some people think that you need to die or you need to get killed, whatever the case may be. You have to understand what you are attracted to and how you feel about your sexuality because they're going to twist that format for you to have a child if you want, depending on if you have this person that you call a father figure, mother figure, whatever the case may be. And if you are not if you are not athletic in your position as far as if you are a man per se. Many of my young men out there, you have to be able to love yourself. And when I mean love yourself, you have to be able to when you question something and you're attracted to it, for one, you may feel as if you're confused, but it's just like you need to understand that if you perceive yourself to want to be a woman or you want to be a man, either way, that's up to you. But just know if you're trying to go into these industries to please somebody other than yourself, you are going to find yourself a lost vessel. Not only that, you're not to go, you're not going to be who you think you are anymore. And then when they tell you to push this agenda to keep your image up and you have children with people who are practicing this agenda behind closed doors, you have no choice but to take an oath and you cannot say a word. But people are not able to perceive if you're really who you think you are or who you say to be. Because why are you hiding behind a different chromosome? Why are you hiding behind a different vessel? Why are you pretending to be another gender when you know you're not that gender? And then it's like, why would you fool the people with the image by using a lustful way of posing, a lustful way of living? Most people are not able to even figure out what they are attracted to. And it's the fact that they push this within these sports industries. And we have many kids who look up to these people. But the thing is, though, you got to understand, you cannot tear people down for what they perceive as self-love. You cannot get upset that people are feeling a certain way about themselves because of their past. Because many of these people are hurt and they, they have no outlet to go to. So they have to run to the Internet or they have to run to a dollar bill. They have to run to plastic surgery. They have to run to getting cloned. It's, it's sacrifices, humiliation rituals. Many of these people are getting body swapped every single day. So a lot of times, too, we got to understand that with consciousness, many of these people are getting their consciousness transferred into a different vessel to make you feel as if you can be just like them. And if you follow the leader, you're going to end up falling off the cliff with the leader that you thought was going to hang on to you and help you and help you and guide you. No, some of these people are not here to better you. They're here to knock you down their frequency to keep their way of living perceived as heavenly peaceful, abundant, prosperous because of an image that you can be perceived in as well. There are many women, there are many men out here who probably feel as if averaging one points won't get you nowhere and you're going to probably be down on yourself. The thing is, you don't have to be down on yourself because of a point percentage. And I wanted to show that with her as well because she was averaging 16 points. But then it's just like after a while when you average or in college, but then once you average one point in this industry, you ain't got nothing else to do but sell yourself short, literally. A lot of times, so you got to understand, not everybody's who they say they are. And the thing is, too, there are a lot of little boys who are so hurt and they're just playing a game. They're playing dress up. They're playing house. So it's like if you feel as if you know what you're looking at, you have to always question it. You have to always contradict it. And you have to always forget yourself. It doesn't matter how deep you go into any industry or as far as like even school, because you can find them at school as well. But that's exactly why the confusion is happening in this society right now as as if you believe in a timeline, because I don't know how you can. But if you believe in the same reoccurring dream, if you feel as if these agendas will get deeper and they will get more sinister, you are neither right nor wrong for thinking like that. But you have to be able to focus on yourself. You have to be able to understand that everything that you are feeling within this world is somewhat a reoccurring pattern of what you feel is right. But you had to always think, are you wrong for feeling like that? No, you're not, because that's still right. And so once you feel all right, then you have to be able to go outside of yourself and actually have faith in what you are walking in, because you don't need to depend on anybody but yourself and your past decisions. You have to be able to walk forward and realize, like, man, you don't need to look up to people who, who can't even really see the truth in what they're actually doing outside of their profession. Many of them are not here to benefit you because why would they care about you? 
we can't do nothing for them but just keep on working on ourselves and we still have to owe them back owe them back for what when we were here first and what is being first when you still last and what is last when you first but what is first to being last when you was never last in the first place (laughs) it's like come on man like all these goddamn titles all these images all these symbols all these hues all these colors and spectrums that's why you have to always just make sure you go with them. Make sure you just meditate and you just say, you know what? I don't know what the fuck going on outside in the simulation, but it ain't got nothing to do with me, man. Find your peace. Go outside the hoop with yourself. And thing is, if you have a family, if you have friends that you enjoy being with, you enjoy kicking it with, that's fine. That's the best That's the best experience outside of watching somebody else live a dream that you can be living in. Go out there and do it yourself. Put in the work. That's a problem. So many people don't have any, they don't have an outlet. So they feel, and that's the thing too. There are many men out there who are mocking women on purpose because they want a better lifestyle because they know some women have it easy. Some women have it easy. So what the fuck was that? Like, But anyway, I think I was like glitching, but so yeah, many men out there feel as if they can do it just like women can but understand to to those, to those men out there you know what you're doing you cannot be them that's not your nature you're going to always have that masculine side creep out when you least expect it you're going to have to stay true to yourself and if you believe that your lies are truth so be it do what you got to do but just know when you look into that mirror <laughs> can nobody save you but you and the thing is too when you want when you want to be in this slave auction, I was going to say when you want to decide, but if you are somebody who is destined to try to work as hard as you can to be in these industries, you have to really ask yourself, what are you doing it for besides the people who are handing you a lifestyle that, that is scripted to you? Because if you do get to this point in your life, it doesn't matter if it's an NBA, WNBA, MLB, NFL, doesn't even matter it can be anything but when you decide to get into these leagues and stuff like that you got to understand that there's levels to the enlightenment that you're walking in and you're going to be inside of a secret society and depending on how talented you are depending on where your career is going depending on where you're going to be in life or history determines on how much you'll sacrifice to get there and that's some shit people are not ready for which is exactly why Many people run to religion because religion won't teach you stuff like this because religion feels as if they're giving you a home inside of a enclosed space, not knowing that the energy that you are emitting from the God within, you are giving it to them to go without yourself. And then you become lost in thought when you're in prayer. And it's like, who are you praying to? Who are you praying to? That's the most, if you ever see somebody pray, you just have to sit there and ask yourself, why would God pray to itself? Why would you pray for something when you have everything you need right here? You feel me? Like, it's not that hard of a, con- a concept to understand. Many people will get on their knees to pray to what? Pray for who? Why are you praying to outside energy? Anything that you want, you already have, but you have to have faith in it and be patient. And many people are not patient for the lifestyle that they are destined to be in. They want to get it instantly. And many parents out there will send their children into these industries and they will not care for them because they know that they are destined to make it. The money coming in, they don't have time to hear you complaining. Whatever your boss says, just do it, please. We got bills to, we, we got bills that need to get paid. I got a new car that I'm going to buy with your money. Come on now, don't do me like this. Come on, I, I done birthed you. I fed you. I clothed you. I tucked you in at night. I read you those bedtime stories. I went to the gym with you. Don't forget. But mom, no, 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 no. But dad, no, 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 no. I took you to school when you ain't had nobody to take you to school. I was in the gym with you, watching you shoot all day, all night. But dad, no, 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 no. See, you're not listening to me. Then what happens when they get into these industries? Nobody was trying to hear them out because they were too young to articulate their thoughts. They were always getting closed off. And now we have a bunch of metamorphers running around here, tricking people 
into a way of living so that they can have a certain image to keep up and maintain, to fund their lifestyle, to make it easy on themselves because they don't want to work as a man. But what is being a, a man in a dream that you think you're living in? What are genders? What is that? How do you perceive that? But you can perceive that physically, can't you? Exactly. So once you understand that you logically had to figure out you're attracted to whatever you're attracted to, if people put a label on it, that's what they would be. Because what are you trying to be? What are you trying to be in love with besides yourself? You're going to practice narcissistic traits. I don't like how I said that. You're going to practice narcissistic traits. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you have to forgive yourself and do better. But you have to be careful of people who are entitled to how they feel about themselves. Especially when it comes down to their funded lifestyle. They will treat you a certain way when you have your money up. But who will you become in a society that you are chasing out of idolization? And the thing is, too, when I transcend from this... <laughs> what would I want to call the roots of... <laughs> the roots of my physical patterns that I unconsciously practice every single day to stay sane in insanity? (laughs) Is that what I would call life? If I was to make a journal or if I was to finalize my simulated existence? I mean, we could put it like that, right? It's not like I'm writing a book or something. Oh, this shit sound good. But (laughs) nah, man, life is just, (laughs) it's just really amazing how In this simulated frequency of figurines, people are able to figure out how they can be sexualized in the WNBA, in any industry, honestly. As long as you can see it on the internet, you're going going to have your mind exposed upon an ultra instinct of sound waves, light waves, dark waves, dark codes, light codes. You're going to have them combine together. <laughs> your simulated frequency through your retinas is going to go blind even worse because you're always on the phone scrolling up and down, looking at nothing, getting distracted by nothing. You're sitting in front of the TV looking at nothing, the computer, iPad, Nintendo Switch, PS5, Xbox, doesn't even matter. You keep on staying distracted by pleasure through a lustful way of living. It's like even when you're playing, you should even talk like that. You should even practice that way. So it's like... Forgive yourself always, no matter what. Because, and and also too, shout out to the women who are born in their nature and they enjoy it. Because that's why we got to clap it up for the women always. Really appreciate them for even being themselves because they go through so much. You know, despite what some of them do, which we can't help, we can't help those hoes. But when it comes down to so I hate using the word, I hate using, putting a title on it, but divine feminine, feminine, that's exactly what we need in our existence. We need that, that true light to nurture us and cater to us, especially uplift us as we uplift them as well. Has to be a bond, has to be a bridge, can't be one-sided because it'll never work out. It'll never work out. That's when the motherfuckers start cheating and shit. So you have to stay loyal to yourself. And you have to always remember, like, <laughs> if you just if you just gonna play with somebody's emotions, if you're gonna play with your emotions as well on an every on an everyday basis, you have to stay with yourself. Because you gotta figure out what you're doing and who you are. Because who you are is not who you think you are. Because who who are you every single day? Who are you every single minute? Who were you ten minutes ago? Who were you an hour ago? Who were you five hours ago? How do you perceive that? Somebody can tell it to you, but why are you te- why are you speaking your truth in a world full of ignorance? Why? Why are you talking to me? Oh, that sounds rude, doesn't it? Exactly. That's exactly why we shouldn't be talking in the first place. Because no matter what, you are perceived what you you are perceived to believe what you think you are and are not. And the fact that some people believe that they are this woman or they are this man is insanity. That's an illusion in a delusional world. And people believe that their delusion is truth. But what is the truth in a world full of lies? 
you have to always be able to contradict everything and question everything and who you look up to because the people who you look up to are not who they perceive to be. <laughs> Many of them are just walking in their skin, masquerading as somebody for a day, for a month, for a year. And then when behind closed doors, they go right back to being who they are. And they can't say nothing because nobody's going to listen anyways. Nobody can hear them because they're at the top and they're still lonely. How you monetize your solar energy to the top and nobody can still hear you in the first place. People looking your way less than at you, then you're wondering why people are less than that. How are you perceiving yourself in a lustful state, questioning why people are perceiving you in a lustful state? Why they're chasing after you with lust, speaking to you with lust, approaching you with lust, walking into walking into lust to approach you and say, hey, how you doing? What's your name, etc." And it's like, depending on how they look, depending on how their money is, you don't tell them who you are for real. And some men are not accustomed into that. Young men, you have to be able to perceive who is a man and who is a woman to your degree. Whatever you're into is what you're into, but you have to be careful with what you're into. Because they don't tell you who you are. <laughs> what are you into? Either way it goes, be true to yourself. And in the day and forgive yourself, especially if you don't know. There's one thing that if you know. like It's like if you know what you're into and you're into that and you lie about it, you're a weirdo, in my opinion. It's like be true to yourself. But if you're not into that and you know you're not into that, I respect you, my nigga. Like, ain't no need for you to even explain it. Because you're true to yourself. Because it's like, damn, I ain't even know. <laughs> that shit crazy. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is going on? But that's why you have to be able to forgive people for the illusion that they are living in and how they're sexualized. Because it's nothing but a bunch of slaves getting auctioned off for a bunch of handlers who are trying to handle them an image through sex. Do a lustful way of living on the internet for attention for a satanic and luciferian intention. They are intentionally trying to harvest your mind to give them more energy so that little girls can be just like them or little boys can be just like them. And then families can get the idea from the internet or just from a way of living or practices from their family members or their ancestors. So it goes beyond the physical. It goes beyond the spiritual as well because what is spirituality and a spiritual experience? And what is an experience that you're experiencing? <laughs> so, and then two, in conclusion for this video, because I didn't want to make this too long anyways, so I do apologize to myself and to you, but what am I apologizing to you for? But with sinister energy exchange, I'm going to say it again, with sinister energy exchange, they are able to sell it through any stream of energy that they want that comes from you and the attention that you give it to from your point of view and who are you giving it to and then when you keep giving it to this person every day every month through subscriptions or through just any type of bill that you're not aware of you're going to keep paying for their lifestyle unconsciously and then when you feed into their lives on the internet or through the television or just in person in general it's like you had to take off the glasses and understand they live Either way it goes, they live. And they are able to form into any type of image they want because it's perceived as your reality. Because we all have different perspectives once you get to the top of that pyramid. Once you become awakened to what reality actually is. Because once you go deep into the industry that you are sold into, it doesn't matter what image it is, you're going to be exchanged for a sinister way of living. But once you maintain that image... You're going to keep it up or else <laughs> it's like damn what did you get into it's like yeah i don't know exactly did it for no reason and now you're ashamed about it and you have to pretend that you're smiling so that you can get the image off so you can get the likes and the followers and you just know they can't help you help yourself always love yourself no matter what it's a dirty game out here, man. They're doing us bad. To the young men out there, love yourself. Love your mom if you don't have one. Love a woman as a mother figure if you choose to be in love with a woman. To the men out there who love men and that's your 
if you do that, that's on you, bro. You love yourself no matter what. To my women out there, if you love the men out there, forget them. If they hurt you, they hurt themselves. They'll regret it. But if you do the same, you're going to regret it as well. Don't fight fire with fire. Let it be. Detach. If you had to, save yourself. Your energy is important. Your womb is important. You have to protect yourself. Protect your boundaries. You know how healthy you are and what you can be. Don't nobody knock you down in frequency. Giving you food. Letting you stay comfortable from your mission. No. Some of these men will knock you down in frequency so that they can build themselves up through you. And then you take care of them and they can't take care of you. Ooh. It's like I got the blues. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I like that. That's it. That's it. But no, for real, though, because some people are not aware of that. And it's in a relationship. And this goes deeper into what you're attracted to. People are so deceitful in their mind that they believe that an internet persona is their girl or their boy. And it's like they don't know you, but you're infatuated with them as if they know you exist. They don't know you exist, so why are you finding their lifestyle? And also, love your dad as well. I did forget to include that, but shout out to the dads out there as well for raising your sons to be better men for tomorrow. And for today as well, because today is the only thing that exists, because tomorrow's not even here yet. And tomorrow doesn't even know it exists either. So thank you for helping these young men out here know what it means to be a father figure and to be a better man every single day. And shout out to the moms out there who are helping their sons and daughters to be better men and women as well, to the best of their capabilities. To the people who don't have a mom and dad, you know, I do apologize for that. Yeah, you don't have anybody to look up to or that, you know, you don't have a role model, but just know you can find that within yourself. You can find somebody out there who's able to live with you and who you are behind closed doors. You don't have to put on an image for them. You don't have to be attracted to codes that that don't that aren't even existing on your phone or your TV. None of these things exist. The only thing is, if you want to find true love, go within yourself, and then somebody will be attracted to you. Appreciate your family. If you don't have one, appreciate yourself for building the right family, because I know you can do it. Stay awake out here. Forgive yourself. It's a cold world. It's only going to get darker unless you lighten up. But how do you lighten up? Your eyes are still wide open as you sleep. Have a great day, God and Goddess. But damn, that's a title. Have a great day, Frequency. Still a title. Damn.